Well, hello, good morning, and this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice. We are going to make a, we're going to rejoice, and we are going to be glad in it. Pastor Danielle here, again, I'm the lead pastor here at Christian Church for All Nations, and we are located at 14205 East 12 Mount in the beautiful city of Warren, Michigan. How are you doing on this glorious Tuesday? It is month, well, Tuesday morning here in the great Mitten state, and it's going to be a great hot steamy day, and I hope you're doing well wherever you are tuning in at. And I do thank you so much for taking the time to join in watching this live, or maybe you're tuning in later on today. Hoping your day is going well or maybe ending well. How are you doing? We're going to get ready to open up in a time of prayer. And if you don't know, and just so you know, if you do have any prayer requests, any prayer needs, please let us know in the comments how we can pray for you. Because what we're going to do, we're going to unite our faith together. We're going to pray and we're going to declare what thus says the Lord over the situation. And also, yes, also, there's more. As the Lord is answering those prayer requests, let us know why, because we want to rejoice with you and we want to share with others with what the Lord has done. Let your testimony testify to the goodness of God and let that be an encouragement to someone else. But let's first go before the Lord in prayer. Lord, we just thank you once again for this day, this day that you've made, this day that we have made the decision that yes, we choose, that we will rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for this time. We thank you for this opportunity that we can come in this format to talk about your word and how it applies to our everyday life. Lord, we pause to take the time to lift up the knees of my fellow brothers and sisters. Lord, I don't know all the details of the situation, but you do. And Lord, whatever the situation may be, we declare the name of Jesus over that situation. We thank you, Lord God, that there will be testimonies of your healing, your provision. Lord, we take our hands off the situation. We lift our hands in total surrender to you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. You know, I love these times where we can come in this format to talk and, you know, talk about basically everyday life and talking about the Word of God and how it applies to our everyday life. It is so vital and so important. And so as I was preparing, I was reflecting on recently, the husband and I, we took a vacation, and which we do most, of the, most generally every year. We take a vacation and we like to, we are people that love to go on cruises. So either you love cruises or you don't like them so much, but we are definitely the people that love to go on to, on cruises. And so this year, once again, what did we do? We took a cruise and we were in the very hot Caribbean, had a great time. And so what it talked about, you no know, laughter and being joyful. And I know sometimes we can get in a place where we think about when was the last time you had like a really deep, good belly roll type of laugh. Do you remember the last time you like legitimately like laugh at a circumstance or a situation, or maybe you're one that you have maybe even had to laugh at yourself. I know there's many times that I have to laugh at myself because I do so many things that are just crazy, you know, silly, you know, that's just who I am. I'm that quirky little clumsy person and I have to laugh at myself. So I'm not crying in tears over the things I do, but nonetheless, we once again took a trip and generally on excursions, on cruises, there's these excursions, these activities um, that we do. And of course, we once again did an activity, well, several activities, but the one of the things that I enjoyed most was in Mexico and is that we went to what's called the Explore Park. And so the Explore Park, it is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. So if you ever go and they have that activity, this is something that you definitely want to be in somewhat decent condition like health wise and you know you want to have that somewhat good health condition to do the activity so there was zip line kayaking swimming in the caves and also riding the and driving an atv now we this is our second time there and so we've done many of the activities before um but this year i'm going somewhere with this this year was somewhat different because in our first trip around when we went on the at uh, adventure you know my husband drove and of course couples let me know from your experience. Isn't it always interesting when you're driving with your significant other? Because most of the time, if you're in the passenger seat, you're generally that backseat driver that's giving the person that's in the driver's seat um, hints or you know tools or tips or tricks on how to drive a vehicle. And of course, you know that's what you know, me and my husband we do that often. And so this year, I decided since we were back at the Explorer Park in Mexico, I said that I wanted to drive the ATV. 
And my husband, you know, he was a little apprehensive about this. You know, he's like, I don't know. But here it was out in the middle of Mexico and the heat and it was very warm and it was very toasty oasty. And so as we were driving, of course, and there were so many things that were happening. Of course, my husband was there giving me feedback on how to drive this ATV that I'm like, honey, I've been driving it a long time. I know what I'm doing. I got it. But at the moment where I could easily got frustrated as we were driving, as I was driving the ATV and I'll put a video and some pictures of it. You know, my husband is holding up top you know, the, like the handle, and he's like, tell me, you got to go there, you go there, and he's like, watch the potholes, watch this, watch that, and the other, and, you know, again, I just started to laugh hysterically, you know, the Bible talks about a merry heart is good medicine, and I decided in that moment, I'm going to have a merry heart, and to be joyful about this opportunity that we are here, out here in Mexico, having this opportunity to be able to be able to go on vacation and to enjoy the experience. And so we have to think about this. Now, the Bible talks about what? A merry heart. And we want to think about that. We want to have that merry heart. In Proverbs, it talks about that. It had that joyful heart. And that's just good medicine for your soul. And so when you think about the last time you actually you know, laughed about a situation or when you were merry about something, that is good medicine for your soul. And so here we are. And I, you know, one of the things my husband kept saying out during this time we were on this excursion and hello to everyone that's tuned in this morning. Good morning, good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. And so one of the things that my husband kept saying, because again, I'm driving, he kept saying, keep me out of the palms, keep me out of the palms. Because as I was navigating dry, um, navigating the potholes that were in the road, of course, on both sides of the road, there's you no know, the agriculture. And he kept saying, oh my goodness, keep me out of the palms, keep me out of the palms. And the more he said that, the more laughter that came out of me. And I just laughed and laughed and laughed. And I don't think I laughed that much in a very long time. And it was that merry heart. Now, granted, he may not have thought the experience was so good for him because he was the one that was on the side of the road, not on the side of the road, but on the, in the passenger seat. And so he kept trying to give him, but the thing is in situations like that, you know, it could have been a very stressful situation. It could have been a very, you know, situation where, you know, like, oh my goodness, here we go. We're driving a vehicle and we're, nah, 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 you know, having those little couples conversations as you do often when you're driving a vehicle. But the thing is, is to have joy in the journey. And, and I know what the saying for joy is, is Jesus over you. And you have to think of that very matter is that Jesus is over you, child of God. And the thing about when you have situations is sometimes those situations at the very moment may not be a situation to laugh about. But trust and believe there's been so many situations in life from childhood, from adulthood that at the time I thought they were just so very stressful. But now I'm like, oh my God, goodness, I was stressing over that. And now I can laugh about and share with you how the Lord used those situations to do different things. And so I want to encourage you today, just as the word of God says is to, you know, have a merry heart is good medicine. And it, you know, there's different translations. I'll pop some of those translations from that scripture in Proverbs. Is that a merry heart does good medicine. Merry heart is good for the spirit. And so when you're going out through this day, whether your day is just starting or whether your day is ending, choose something to be merry about. Find a reason to say, you know what? I am going to take joy in the journey because joy is Jesus over you. And if Jesus is over you, what do you have to worry about? Because Jesus has got you surrounded. Jesus has got you covered. And so choose this day. Say, you know what? I'm going to be merry about this situation. Right now, it may be kind of a stinky situation. It may be a hard situation, but I am going to find joy in the journey. And yes, there was a joyful time that we had at the park in Mexico as I was riding or driving our ATV and maybe scaring my husband a little bit just a little bit, but that's okay. We had a great time in the end, and now we can look back and laugh about that very situation that here we were out in Mexico driving in the explore part, and yes, he kept saying, kick me out of the palms, and I laughed, and I laughed, and he's like, dodge the potholes. I'm like, there's potholes everywhere. It's like being in Michigan. You can't dodge the potholes. You just got to roll over. You got to roll with the punches sometimes and say, Lord, I lift my hands up. There's nothing I can do but to say, Lord, in this situation, help me to find 
you in it. Because sometimes we can get so bogged down by the situation, we are elevating the situation and we're not magnifying Jesus. We have to find Jesus in every situation in life. Sometimes we can't see it because we don't have the right lenses on. We got to take the lens, our natural lenses off and say, Lord, give me spiritual insight so I can see you in the situation. Because with Jesus, Jesus over you, and you can find joy in the journey. And that's what I wanted to share with you on this glorious Tuesday. And remember, a merry heart does is like good medicine. A merry heart does good for the soul. Find something to be merry about this day. Think about it. Reflect on it. Write it down. Capture that thing so that when you're having a bad day, you can go back to say, look, I remember that day. And I'm going to plug that into my daily account of what I'm going to be grateful about, grateful about what I'm going to be merry about. And also look forward to seeing you on tomorrow night. Tomorrow night is Worship in the Word here at Christian Church for All Nations at 7 p.m. Looking forward to seeing you in the house of the Lord. And of course, on Sunday morning, I look forward to seeing you at 11 a.m. in the house of the Lord. And if you can't physically make it out, of course, you can tune in via the stream. But we would love to see you live and live in living color at the church. Let's pray. Lord, we just thank you once again for this day. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that we're going to choose to have a merry heart. We're going to choose to find a situation to be merry about, to be joyful about. And though yet those situations can be hard when life gets stressful, help us to find joy in the journey and to remember as the word J-O-Y, joy, Jesus over you. And child of God, I want to let you remind you today that Jesus is over you and take joy in the journey. Lift him up. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for these things and all that you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have an awesome rest of the day. Don't forget, join us tomorrow night at 7 p.m. and on Sunday morning at 11. Bye-bye.